So hi, if you follow any of my videos you'll notice that one of the things I'm interested in is actually flux suction. And while looking into this I came across a 1968 patent by a guy called Subioto Garan. And the patent number is 3368141. I'll write that in the description in case you want to look it up. But what he's got in this patent, and he calls it a transformer with a per assisted by a permanent magnet, um, what he's got in this is a central iron core with three coils around it. Uh, the centre coil is a drive coil and the two outer coils are the pickup coils. And then at the top uh, arm is a U-shape around the centre core. He's got uh, an iron framework separated by an air gap and then the framework goes off in two big eyes and there's a permanent magnet between those two frame uh, legs. Uh, and the permanent magnet is supposed to enable flux switching through the transformer by the action of the centre coil. So I, I built a little implementation of that and here it is. Okay, so instead of having a straightforward um, single piece of iron, what I've done is bend it around in a new shape and here you can see my drive coil and there's the iron connecting it to these two output coils and then those output coils are legged through into this framework here. Now Garon has a, um, sorry about this, Garon has a permanent magnet between these two. What I've done is put two neo, one centimetre neo magnets, one pointing north and one pointing south, essentially the same effect. Okay, The coils are round in a one-to-one, -one, so we don't actually get any coil transformation going on there, so if I'd round them one to two, we'd obviously have a step-up transformer. Here we've got essentially an isolation transformer, so that any step-up that occurs is uh, occurring actually just because of of the action of the magnets included in the framework. Okay, So what I've done in order to be able to switch that is I've set up a little mechanical oscillator. It's just a household relay. It's meant to um, drive 240 volts from a 12 volt uh, relay coil in there. So I've got two 6 volt batteries in series to give them a 12 volts to power the relay coil. And then this little D cell is what's actually going to transform and um, power the transformer. The uh, DC has 1.5 volts and it's completely isolated from these two. Uh, essentially these two are just switching the relay coil and that switching allows this 1.5 volt battery to be switched through the transformer. Now um, I've wired this up so it's normally closed to normally closed. If you do it, uh, sorry, normally open, yeah, yeah, normally closed, normally closed. If you do it normally open, because the relay coil um, oscillates so rapidly, the read never actually gets to the uh, normal open position, so you get nothing. So what you're wanting is um, the normally closed position to be on to be broken and then reformed, and that's what happens because it's so rapid. It, it snaps for open and closed. What that means is that when I connect the top of the positive of that D cell, it's going to power the transformer immediately. I obviously don't want that to happen, so I'll, what I'll do is I'll switch it on and then touch the um, one end of the cable to the positive and we should see something happen on the voltmeter. So I'm going to do that and turn this around so that you can actually have a look at what happens to the voltmeter readings. So first of all, here it is uh, without the magnets in position. So I've just taken those two magnets off. Let's turn the oscillator on and touch the D-cell. And it goes up to about 300. So here's my voltmeter turned on. And if I just touch that D-cell to it, you can see that we get a spike out of it. And it's actually a considerable, a considerable spike. So now if I turn on the um, oscillator, sorry, the um, negative came untouched. There's the oscillator running, and if I touch that to it, there we go. And there it is without it, and there it is touching it and running. So I turn the oscillator off. And even though I keep the power on the D-cell, obviously nothing's happening because it has, it's now a DC, so it's not going to have any transformer action. Snap it off. There we go. We get a little bit of transformer there going on. But when I turn the oscillator with the magnets on, it wraps it up a considerable amount. So there we are. Very interesting and probably worth a play around with. 
Okay, so all we had there was the thing running with and without the magnets, and as you saw, without with the magnet, sorry, without the magnets, it ran at uh, 300 millivolts, and with the magnets, it was running at 500 millivolts. So it's almost doubling it by adding the magnets. Now, Garam was quite uh, concerned about flux saturation, so um, small voltages and small magnets seem to be the key with this particular thing. So not a particularly powerful um, circuit, uh, sorry, piece of machinery but certainly a very interesting piece of machinery and probably worth playing with.